So this is our steam-powered sawmill, and so behind us we have the Advance. This is a 2590, 90 horsepower uh, Advance Rumley Universal steam engine. So this steam engine is hooked up by a belt to power the mandrel or the main blade on our sawmill. So we run the belt and the engine to turn the saw blade, and then we also have a steam line coming from from this engine to take steam from the boiler to power, to power our Suli steam engine that, that feeds the carriage back and forth. So this engine is supplying the belt horsepower, the main drive horsepower, plus it's supplying steam to our Suli that runs the carriage on the sawmill. And so the power comes through this belt, comes to our main drive shaft, and we, we built a jack shaft here. So the power is coming from the steam engine here, and then We've got a set of hydraulics that powers our log turner so we can manipulate, lift, and turn the logs. And then this, the power comes from our, our jack shaft over to our main saw mandrel. This is a pretty standard size sawmill that they would have used back in the early 1900s. This is a 52 inch saw blade. So with a 52 inch saw blade, you could, you could cut about a, you know, comfortably a, a 24 inch diameter log. And, and that, that was pretty standard for a steam-powered sawmill back in the day. This sawmill we actually set up to be powered by a steam Suli. So the Suli steam engine was actually a steam engine that was specifically designed for running sawmills. So this engine runs forward and reverse and it turns, it turns a basically a cable winding drum that, that pulls the carriage back and forth on the tracks. And these logs, you know, these logs can be upwards of one to 2,000 pounds. So you obviously need a lot of, a lot of power to, to move these logs and also for, for being able to stop the momentum. Because once that log's moving and you have an issue, you need to back out of the cut or you have, you have to change directions quickly, you need, to have, you need to have some power to be able to do that. And so a lot of sawmills were actually set up with a belt feed or a friction, like a friction, belt system where it would have ran the carriage off of the main the main sawmill mandrel um, just via a friction belt or a friction drive system but we prefer to have the steam Suli just because you have independent control of your carriage and you also have a little bit better better control because you're running a steam engine you can you can slow, run a little bit slower or you can run significantly faster and so we we like the steam Suli setup and our logs come off the log deck. So we'll have a number of logs set up here. These logs we just roll by hand up, up to the point where we can grab it with the, with the log turner. And so then the log turner, this will pivot up with a hydraulic cylinder and then it's got, it's got a hydraulic motor that turns with these grabbers. So we can actually, we can actually hook the log and, and turn it. And so we're able to roll the log up manipulate and handle it with this log turner and then we get it onto the onto the head blocks and so the this is the main carriage for the sawmill this is what carries the log this is a left hand sawmill so they made left and right hand sawmills when we're when you're sawing you're standing here the the person who is sawing um, the the chief of the sawmill is, is called the sawyer so when the sawyer is cutting and the log is on his left side that's a left-handed sawmill and if the log were reversed and on the right side, it would be a right-hand mill. So this is a left-hand mill. Log rolls up onto the carriage. There's a, the sawyer and then a tail sawyer. So the tail sawyer, sawyer runs the head block on the back side. And so you, you basically get the log put up on the, onto the carriage to the head blocks. And then we have these, these dogs. These are saw dogs. So, 
So these are adjustable, these adjustable saw dogs. And then when the log's on here, you just you can just slide that down and you can dog it into the log. So that's how we hold the log onto the carriage. And then there's a, a set works. The set works back here is actually what controls the distance. You can see our distance from this tells us the distance from our head block to the saw blade. So what's important when we're cutting lumber is to know how much distance you have between your head blocks and your saw blade because that, that's going to tell you how much you're going to take each cut. So today when we're running this sawmill, we're going to be cutting two by sixes. So we're going to want to have, have, when we have a squared up edge of the log and we start cutting with the saw blade, we have to make sure that we start out on a number that's going to take us down to a two inch board left on the head block. And so this, this set works, you just pull the Sawyer standing down and when he pulls, when we pull, when the Sawyer pulls the lever, it adjusts, it pulls that head block in. So we're, currently we're, we're set up for a one inch board or an inch and a quarter cut. So every time I pull this lever, it moves that head block an inch and a quarter. And then you can recede the, the head block by just turning it and then pulling, pulling it. So this is a, this is a pretty nice set works where you can, where you can recede it uh, by hand by pulling it with the set works. So what, we'll, what we do when we saw is we'll actually take a log and we'll cut, we'll take a cut and we'll true up one side and then we'll turn it with the log turner. We'll get that flat side down on the head blocks. And then we'll take, so we have a true, a true side down on the head blocks. Then we'll take another cut. So we have a, a trued up 90. So we'll turn it again. So that trued up 90 is against the back and the bottom of the head blocks. And then from there, we can start sizing that, that log to, to whatever we need to, so we can get the maximum amount of, of lumber out of there. So there's, there's actually quite a bit of, of fast calculation that you have to do in your head because if you're cutting inch and a quarter boards, you want to be left with an inch and a quarter on your last cut. So if you've got maybe 16 inches of log, you've got to take inch and a quarter times that number of boards, you know, like 12, you're going to get maybe 12 boards out of there. So you've got to start inch and a quarter times 12 and, and plus you have to figure for the, the kerf of the saw blade, which is about 5 16 of an inch. So every time we take a cut, we lose 5 16 of, of an inch. So you also have to figure for, for that. Um, and so there's it, quite a bit of, of, of figuring and, and calculating that goes into to making quality lumber with a sawmill.